friends welcome to the special lecture on my channel the title of the lecture is quantum mechanical treatment of covid-19 friends here we are treating covid-19 not the patients of covid-19 and the tool that we are using is going to be the quantum mechanics on the thumbnail i have written the words containing some individuals and some entities these are the individuals and the entities who have prompted me to do some work and write a lecture on this and eventually share it with you so without wasting time i would straight away begin the lecture quantum mechanical treatment of covid 19 friends what is quantum mechanics for the layman i have mentioned here a couple of points friends quantum mechanics is the science that guides when all other sciences fail one more statement about quantum mechanics can be only god can help if quantum mechanics can friends the greatest scientists on this earth like max planck einstein stephen hawking feynman they were all quantum mechanics quantum mechanics is particularly useful when the material under investigation is microscopic i was listening to one of the talks by president trump today he mentioned that this is a war like situation and the enemy is invisible invisible means microscopic you cannot see with your naked eyes so this time it appears that quantum mechanics can take the charge of the situation friends principles of quantum mechanics seems to have originated from shiv mahapuram as well as bhagavad gita we are expected to stand with lamp let me give you some information about the light radiated from the lamp and the invisible enemy as well as the surroundings this picture shows that there is a blue colored oval this blue colored oval is the aerosol you can consider it like the yarn the akash yarn in which ravan used to travel this aerosol is mainly made up of water you know uh, when a particular particular person sneezes or coughs then sometimes some water droplets they are released in the air these are the aerosols an average size of or average diameter of this aerosol is of about 1000 nanometer now if the person who sneezes is infected with coronavirus then millions of virus they make this aerosol as their yarn and they travel into the atmosphere in this aerosols that is what i have shown in the figure the second thing the colored image is the your corona virus with an approximate diameter of 125 nanometer traveling into its vehicle called aerosol now on the other hand you have a lamp maybe a candle maybe a lamp using fuel like a ghee or oil in all these cases it is going to emit yellow colored light and mm, if you have some religious mind and if you have habit of taking aarti etc sometimes you will see that some black colored deposit will take place on your hand it is said that this deposit will contain carbon in nano form and it will seal the surface of your hand and therefore it will become protected surface of course this is an this is a hypothesis but as uh, the situation demands i have shown it over here now let us treat the covid 19 using our quantum mechanics friends the situation is like a deja vu situation this situation where the enemy or rather the subject under investigation was invisible had come several years before when the scientists were searching the structure of an atom they were wondering that how or what is the actual structure of an atom which is the fundamental part of every material they tried all their best and nobody could succeed for a very long time then came 
De Broglie. De Broglie came with his hypothesis. He said that matter, material, has dual nature. The matter has a particle nature as well as wave nature. And when the mass of the matter becomes lesser and lesser, the wave nature becomes predominant and the particle nature becomes less important. So, by studying the structure of an atom which is a microscopic, which is very small, atom is a very small and very, very, very less mass, the D probably hypothesis saying that matter with less mass should have wave nature came to help in the identification of the structure of atom. This time you have COVID virus which is which is microscopic and the situation is similar and therefore it prompted me to perform some calculations based on the equation given by scientists like De Broglie. De Broglie said that lambda is equal to h upon mv. He said that when the mass of the material is very less then it will have wave nature and the wavelength of that material can be calculated on the basis of an equation lambda is equal to h divided by m into v where h is the Planck's constant, m is the mass of the object and v is its velocity. Now for COVID-19 it has been reported that its molecular weight is approximately 1 lakh gram per mole. So it means that when you have 1 lakh grams of COVID-19 then you are having some 6.02 into 10 to 23 COVID-19 viruses. The Planck's constant is a constant. V, here we have to assume. What we do is, V is the velocity and COVID-19 is traveling in its yarn, that is the aerosol, which is traveling in the atmosphere with the velocity of the air. I consider that the normal velocity of the air could be like 10 km per hour which is equal to 0 0.003 km per second and which is equal to 3 meters per second because I have to keep it in MPL system therefore in terms of meter per second I will call it 3 meter per second then about the mass we had found out the molecular weight which is equal to 1 lakh that is 10 raised to 5 grams per mole in MKS system, I have to convert it into kilogram, therefore it is 10 raised to 2 kilograms. And then dividing it by the Avogadro number 6.02 or 6 into 10 raised to 23, I get the mass of one COVID-19 molecule, which comes to 0.16 into 10 raised to minus 21 kilogram. Now, I will use the de Broglie's equation, lambda is equal to h upon mv, h we know 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 divided by m is equal to 0.16 into 10 raised to minus 21 and multiplied by v that is the velocity is 3 meter per second. So you get the value 4 into 10 raised to minus 13 meters which is equal to 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 nanometers. Wavelength is generally presented in uh, the nanometer units. Now what is this wavelength? This is wave wavelength is the distance between two consecutive crests or troughs in a wave or that is the peaks or the bottoms of a wave and as such at this stage it may appear just like a number to us but we will then correlate it with some other values and we will be able to understand. So the first thing that we found out is that approximate wavelength of covid virus is 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 nanometer. Now we are going to expose this covid virus to the light coming from a lamp and this is a yellow colored light. So what we need to know, for photons emitted, for photons emitted by yellow colored light from lamps and candles, the lambda of yellow light is 550 nanometer. So this will be just like a data for us. Next comes the contribution of Hasselberg. Friends, even while searching the structure of an atom, it was not only D. Broglie who could really bring us to the actual structure of an atom, Hasselberg's principle was equally important. He said that it is impossible to determine the position and momentum of a microscopic particle simultaneously and precisely. But 
while studying the COVID-19, I would like to restate this principle as it is impossible to aim and shoot COVID-19 at the same time. As per Hazard, the reason was that whenever you are dealing with a microscopic particle, what happens is, see, uh, if you want to say shoot a particle using a gun, what you have to do is first you have to locate it and to locate it, you have to illuminate it, you have to throw some light over it and afterwards once it is located, you can shoot it with your gun. Now what happens, when you try to locate, you are throwing some light, light is energy and you are talking about a microscopic particle. The energy from the light gives a very great shock to that particle and therefore the particle cannot maintain its position and its position is altered to a great extent. So once you try to locate it or once you throw a light over it, then its position will be changed. That is the characteristic of microscopic particle. And we begin with the presumption that just like other microscopic particles, it will be impossible to aim and shoot COVID at the same time. But let us then do the calculation. Or Heisenberg gave an equation delta x that is the uncertainty in position multiplied by mass times delta v that is the uncertainty in velocity will always be equal to or will have the order of Planck's constant that is h upon 4 pi. The same thing can be stated like the uncertainty in the product of uncertainties in position and velocity of a microscopic particle is of the order of Planck's constant. Now, let us imagine ourselves standing in a balcony with a, with a length of 5 meter. So, if the COVID-19 is within the range, then we will say that the uncertainty in the position of your COVID-19 is 5 meters. Then about delta V. Delta V from the first equation as I show, showed, uh, which contains delta x is equal to n delta V upon h 4 pi. We keep delta V on the left side and take this delta x and m on the right side. Then delta V can be equated as h upon 4 pi m delta x. So it comes out as 6.6 .6 into 10 raise to minus 34 divided by 4 into pi is your 3.14 and multiplied by 0.16 into 10 raise to minus 21. This we have already calculated in the de Broglie's exercise and then multiplied by 5 which is the uh, length of your bulk. So then this value, the uncertainty in the velocity of the COVID virus will come out to 0.1 into 10 raise to minus 4 nanometer per second. Now we again get some number 0.1 into 10 raise to minus 4 nanometer per second is the uncertainty in velocity. Is this significant? In order to understand that, let us take two examples. If I take the example of a cricket ball in a similar situation, then upon the radiation of light, the cricket ball will have an uncertainty in its velocity of the order of 10 raise to minus 24 meter per second, which is almost negligible. A negligible change will take place in the velocity of a moving cricket ball because that value is 10 raise to minus 24. But when it comes to an electron under a similar situation, then you will see that the uncertainty in velocity of this electron will be of the order of 10 raise to 5 meter per second. That is the uncertainty will be in few hundreds of kilometers. Uncertainty in velocity will be around few hundreds of kilometers. Therefore, it is a significant number. Now, the number that we obtained for COVID, this is 0.1 into 10 raise to minus 4. See, uh, this is uh, uh, not very near to that of electron, but it is not really far. I'm sorry, it is really very far from a cricket ball. So it comes on borderline, but then from this uh, calculation, we can definitely say that the scope of uncertainty over here is very low. So it is not impossible to aim and shoot COVID-19 at the same time. Only thing is we need the right weapon and the right shooter. Let us do some more calculations. We will understand this. The contribution of Edwin Schrodinger. Schrodinger understood that based on the de Broglie's hypothesis and Hessenberg's uncertainty principle, 
if you have to study the behavior of microscopic material then they have to be treated as wave and in order to understand the behavior of these materials you have to understand the behavior of waves and therefore he proposed wave equations he solved several equations named as schrodinger wave equation it has several different forms now this time we are going to take an exercise in which you have a covid virus in a three dimensional box approximately which is equal to the dimensions of your balcony in order to keep mathematical simplicity i have defined your balcony as a cube with 5 meter height 5 meter length and 5 meter width all the dimensions are 5 meters in that case if you want to calculate the energy of the ground level of the covid virus then it can be equated as e111 which is equal to nx square plus ny square plus nz square multiplied by x square divided by a m is your mass and a is the uh, length of the box 8 m square so performing the mathematics you come to a value which says that e11 is equal to 1.4 into 10 raised to minus 47 joules and when we convert this into electron volt that is we divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 we get the value of 10 raised to minus 28 electron volt this energy is the energy of the first energy level of covid virus now this will have several energy levels let us take the next energy level which will be e211 or it can be e121 or it can be e112 all these levels are degenerate but we will calculate it for e211 and this value will come out to be 4 into 10 raised to minus 28 electron volt so the energy of the first level is 20 1 into 10 raised to minus 28 the energy of the second level is 4 into 10 raised to minus 28 electron volts and therefore the difference between the first and the second energy level that is delta e will come out to 3 into 10 raised to minus 28 electron volts now trying to understand the significance of this let us take an electron in same situation if you have an electron in a balcony with 5 meter dimensions then performing similar calculations you will get the value of delta e as equal to 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 16 electron volt that will be the energy difference between the first and the second energy level next we compare this with the energy available from the yellow light which will be coming from your lamp and this energy is approximately 2.5 electron volts thus when we compare this e yellow light that is 2.5 electron volts with the delta e 3 into 10 to the to minus 28 electron volt very clearly e yellow light is much larger than delta e and therefore this light can definitely bring some kind of excitations in the covid 19 so this was a humble effort in performing some basic quantum mechanical calculations on covid 19 remember here covid 19 was a patient we were not discussing about a person who is suffering from this is because of the virus covid 19 this was a quantum mechanical treatment of covid 19 i have a few humble requests to make to you first one is as per our pms suggestion today all of us must hold lamps in our hand or in our balcony at 9 pm for 9 minutes on 5th april 2020 at the same time if we can play or sing aarti mantra etc of our own faith if you ask me my recommendation is play the rudri part chapter 1 and 2 7 minutes it is available on my channel do have faith in science as well as god our pm and the cm of our state both are doing their best please do as directed we hope that we will soon be able to come out of this situation friends the shiv mahapuram has identified shiv as matter and mata parvati as radiation the quantum mechanics or the spectroscopy which is a related branch to quantum mechanics is is the game between the matter and radiation the importance of interaction between matter and radiation has already been stated in our great literatures like shiv mahapuram friends 
if you have heard about an incident between mahakali mata and mahadev then you see that radiation that is mata mahakali is capable of destroying the mahadev so radiation is capable of destroying a virus like covid 19 the last point radiation if not destroys definitely has capability to excite the matter you know matter without radiation and radiation without matter they are in incomplete just like mahadev and mata parvati you have to consider this as an image sometimes shown in the ardhanarishwar bhagwan so thank you very much